Hi guys, welcome back. So today I've got another quick video for you where we're going to be creating this kind of animated uh, gradient border effect. You can see our border for this button is slowly changing colour. Um, I kind of got this uh, inspiration for this from this uh, GitHub Universe website where you can see they've kind of applied the same sort of effect to this button here where the uh, gradient is slowly changing colour. Uh, it's slowly animating. So yeah, we kind of do the same thing here. You can see it's slowly fading to orange now. Uh, yeah, so I hope you enjoy, guys, and uh, yeah, let's just jump straight in. Thanks. Okay, guys, so to get started, um, again, just got the usual index.html file and the style.css files here. Uh, let's come into our uh, index.html in, index file, sorry, get the boilerplate up and running, um, and then I'm just going to come in the body, um, and I'm just going to say here, we want to div of a class of button, and then within this div, we're going to say another div of a class of um, button hyphen inner. And then in here, we're just going to say span. And I'm going to give, uh, just put text of gradient in there. This would be any text in your button really, okay? And that's it for our body, just for this tutorial. And then I'm also just going to link to our style.css um, up here. Uh, sorry, link. And just say style.css. And then also, I just want to add a font, a Google font to our, uh, let's go for this Roboto font, I like that in Google fonts. And then we'll just uh, get this regular 400 style here, copy the link tag, we'll pop that in the header section. And then we'll also just tie it up a bit and then add the CSS as well, get the CSS selector here. Okay, so that's pretty much it for HTML. Let's go into the style.css. I'm just going to select um, this section here and we'll just uh, say font family. Um, let's just open this in live server so we can see what we're working with. Okay, so yeah, there's our kind of a gradient text there, our button. Okay, so now let's go into the CSS and let's just come under here and I'm just going to select our HTML as well as our body. And then here we're going to say, just give it a background color of black just to show this effect better. Okay, and then underneath this, we're going to next select um, our button element. So we'll say dot button. And in here, we're going to say, I just want to position this absolute now, just for the purposes of this tutorial. I'm just going to position this button in the center of the page. And then we'll say left 50%, uh, top 50%, transform translate, minus 50%, and another minus 50% to get out dead center of the screen. And then underneath that, we're going to say, we'll give this button a width of 150 pixels. And then we'll give it a height of, and we'll say just 50 pixels, okay? And then let's just give it a border now, just so we can see where the button is. We'll say one pix solid white. Okay, so there's our button. I've zoomed in a bit here, so uh, let's just zoom out to 100%. There you go, there's our button. And then underneath this, we're just going to next select uh, the background element, okay? And here, we're going to use, um, let's just select background, we're going to use the linear, radi linear gradient, okay? So I'm just gonna um, paste one in which I uh, made earlier. So it's this one here. And what's happening here, let me just uh, save that so we can see the changes. You can see we get this gradient pattern here, okay? Um, so what's happening here is from 0% it's applying this blue color, then up to 13% you can see it slowly transitions. Um, we're doing negative 45 degrees, so it goes uh, backwards 45 degrees, okay? So at 0% it's going back. And you can see it's slowly transitioning to this orangey, ready, yellow color, okay? Um, so let me just zoom in so you can see the effect better. Okay, so there's our button. Um, I'm going to remove this border for now because we don't need that. Okay. And then the next thing we wanna do here is just adjust the background size, okay? So we'll say background size, we wanna give it 400% to make this a lot bigger. So now you see we just get like a kind of one color. And what we're going to do with this linear gradient is we're going to just move it along, okay? Behind the scenes, so you'll slowly see the gradual change in color. Um, another thing I just wanna talk about as well, we, there's multiple sites where you can choose uh, any kind of gradient. These, these sites here will make a gradient for you and you can just copy the gradient code and paste it in your CSS. So you can see there's a bunch here on this gradienthunt.com. There's a few websites like this, so yeah, it's worth checking out. But I like this gradient uh, color section for now. 
Um, and then come under here. So if we come back into our CSS code, I'm just going to next select, we're going to create a keyframe animation, okay? So if we just type keyframes here, and then we're going to say, um, I want to give this a name of just animate for now, call it what you want really. This is just the effects we're going to apply to this uh, gradient background. And then we're going to say 0% here, and we want our effect, uh, our background position. So if you set background position, I'm going to make that 0%, not dollar, percent. And then we come under this, we'll say 50%. And then we want to move that to background position of 100%, okay? So background position, 100%. And then when we get to the end of the animation, so 100%, we're going to make our background position go back to zero again, okay? So the animation can restart. So say background position of 0%, uh, percent, like so. And then what we want to do is just apply this animate that we just created, this keyframe animation, to our background linear gradient. So we'll just say animation under here, and we'll just say animate. And then we're going to say, we'll just do one second for now, so it's a nice quick animation, and we'll make it go on an infinite loop, okay? Now you can see we get this change in the animation in, in, the, in the gradient color. This might not look good in, on YouTube because YouTube does compress the video, so it might look a bit kind of, uh, you know, not smooth, the transition of color, but it looks good on my screen. Um, let's just change that. That's going too fast for me. I want to change this to a gradual uh, color fade, so we'll say 20 seconds. And you can see we get a nice slow transition now of color. So next thing I want to do, you remember we created this uh, in, in button inner element here. So we're going to create that now to complete our button. So if we come under this, I'm just going to say, scroll down a bit. We'll say dot uh, button inner. And here we're just going to say position absolute again to position it relevant to the parent div, which is this square here. And then we'll say uh, left. We want to make, have this two pixels from the left, okay? And then top say two pixels and then right we'll say two pixels and then bottom we'll say two pixels okay and then we're going to make the background color of this but uh, in a button uh, black I'll just say black for now okay so you can see we get this kind of nice border effect now that's changing color okay and then come underneath this we're gonna make the text the color of white like so and then we're going to say text align center, center the text. Okay, and then we want to do a line height just to make this uh, text center to the actual inner button. We'll say line height, and I'll just say uh, this is going to be 46 pixels, okay? And the reason we're doing 46 is because the height of this button is 50 pixels, and we're subtracting four pixels, uh, two pixels from the bottom and two pixels from the top. Therefore, 50 minus four is 46 here. So that centers the text. Okay, and then we're going to just say on here, cursor pointer. And then underneath this, we're just going to say a transition. And I want to do 0 0.5 seconds. Okay, and then I'm just going to come underneath this and we do a button hover. So we say dot button uh, in a hover, like so. And here we're going to say background color. We want to make that transparent next, okay? And then we're going to say transition again. And again, we're going to say 0 0.5 seconds or 0 0.5 seconds. And then come underneath that, we're just going to say, we want to, we'll change our text color to black, okay? So we'll say color black. Okay, so now you'll see, if we come on here, we get this nice sort of effect now when we hover our button. Okay, so that's basically how you get this nice kind of, um, this gradient uh, border. Okay, and it's animated. You can obviously, as we did before, speed it up. So if we just change this to, we'll just make it one second again. You can see, not 10 seconds, one second. You can see now we get this fast transition. However, I kind of like it when it's a more slower uh, slower fade effect. It looks, it looks better to me. But yeah, that's how you create an uh, animated color gradient border. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.